Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Before we get today's episode started, a lot of you guys are telling me that there is a new Easter egg that you can use. All you have to do is open up the menu and press Damn, W, son. and you look like this. Yandere chan looks like she's about to go downtown, go clubbing, about to twerk her booty like this on some random dude, gets some free alcohol or something like what is this i have no idea what this is i don't get the reference there is like a skull between some hearts on her back she's wearing black spandex hold on let me figure out what this all is in reference to because i'm gonna feel like a huge dumbass if i don't know what this is okay i just checked the yandere simulator wiki page this is basically an easter egg from the game bayonetta she looks like the main character it's basically a cosmetic easter egg you can't really do anything special so i press control here here. She's still giggling like normal Yandere chan. I don't know if she does anything. I tried picking up this sword, but there wasn't anything good. Wait, that's not a sword, that's a box cutter. Fuck, that's a screwdriver. This is the katana. There you go. I uh, picked it up, it didn't do anything new. I'm gonna try to slice somebody up. Let's actually go for Midori up on the roof. Let's see if we do anything special. Nope. Wait, our suit is actually turning a different color. That's pretty cool. It's like light gray instead of black now. Let me try to kill more people. And yeah, the Easter egg is actually turning just solid gray. That is freaking cool. Hold on. Let me try to get my wife over here. Nobody's gonna be spared right now. I'm gonna try to kill as many students as I can without Senpai noticing me. And let's see what happens to this suit. Killer. And yeah, still grayed out. Okay, I just got done ending a few more laifus. The suit didn't change any more colors. It is still all grayed out. I don't know if that was supposed to happen or if this is just a bug or a glitch or whatever. Maybe we'll find out in the future. But apparently you can make the suit change color after you kill a few students. It changes from the sexy black spandex to this grayed out rubbery thing. I don't even know what the fuck I should call it. But anyway, that is pretty cool. That is the Bayonetta Easter egg for anybody that was curious. Let's get on to the myths. I have four glitches for you. One, laugh when they are changing their shoes at the locker. They will then just stand there and do nothing. 2. You can interrupt Kokona's call again by the radio. Make sure that she is trying to turn off the radio when her phone rings. 3. Kill the teachers. I don't know if this works on other easter eggs, but hey, I use Falcon here. Then pick up the corpse. Ghost chairs and papers will follow you. 4. Okay, so teachers don't need to react when in an easter egg. Go into any easter egg and steal the sheet. In that 10 second scene of stealing, they will continuously react to you like, Oh, it's nothing, she's just stealing it. They basically don't care that you're stealing. Alright, the first one we are gonna do is laughing while they are changing their shoes at their locker. Because they're wearing the air what it owes. So we are gonna laugh. And they're not doing shit. What the hell? Well, there you go. She's just standing there. She got a little shoesies right there. Little cutesy pootsies. Hey, girl. Yeah, she's just standing there. What about this guy? Oh, he already has his shoes on. The fuck are those? Some uncle shoes? Those are hella gross. Go ahead, put on your shoes. You're right. She's not putting on her shoes. What about her? There you go. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna wait for her to take off her shoes. Then I'll start laughing. And she'll stand there like that. And she's not gonna change her shoes. And what the? What the? Did you guys see that? He just went up next to me, he's like, Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear, and then he went over here. What the fuck are you doing? You trying to hit on me, big guy? Yeah, that's what I thought. Go back to your locker. And, yeah. I laughed, and they're just doing that. He is actually holding his shoes! What the fuck? <laughs> let me see those shoes. He's getting no girls with those shoes on. Oh, those are ugly. Ew. They probably stink, too. Let me smell them. Ooh, gross. Smell like some martial arts. Fuck. Okay, so that's what happens, guys, and she actually has her shoes there, too. So that is the first glitch. If you laugh while they're changing their shoes, they'll just be standing there like that. Oka got her pink cutesy pootsies on, and this guy just standing there looking at his locker like, what the fuck? She's just standing there, shoes right next to her. She doesn't even have any shoes. She's standing next to her locker. They got their shoes floating in the air like they just don't care. So that's the first one. We can also interrupt Kokona's call again by the radio. Make sure that she is trying to turn off the radio when her phone rings. Okay, there goes Kokona. She is gonna go answer her cell phone. We are gonna go over here and interrupt her by placing it here. 
and then boom! There you go! What are you doing? Did I do it wrong? Hold on. I think I... Whoa! What the hell? Where are you going? Hold on! You gotta turn off the radio! Wait, let me try playing it again. Duh! There you go! And she's still talking on her cell phone! <laughs> hey, don't turn that shit off. I don't care if you're on your phone. Come over here and turn this off again. Get that ass over here! <laughs> She's like, oh my god, how is this radio on? It's so rude. Let me turn this off and let me talk about my compensated dating again. Well, Kakona is over here, though. She's running in place. She's talking about compensated dating in front of all of her girl pals. And she's crying. Let me turn this on again. Oh, who noticed it? Nope. Oh, you noticed it. Fuck you. I want Kakona to notice it. Hey, Kakoni. Notice this. Ah, whatever. All right, so that is a glitch. I don't know if that was the correct way to do it, but I did it anyway. I played it as she was talking on her phone. She ran back to her group of friends and turned it off. And then she continued on with her phone call in her circle of friends. So that is pretty cool. Okay, the third glitch is kill the teachers. I don't know if this works on other Easter eggs, but hey, I use Falcon here. Then pick up the corpse. Ghost chairs and papers will follow you. All right, you read my mind. Falcon mode is my favorite Easter egg. So let's get started. Let's punch this sensei right Gregory. in her hairy vagina. <laughs> and let's pick that ass up and see what happens. Oh, there you go. The chair instantly zoomed to me. Yay! <laughs> cool! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me put this right over here. <laughs> and then let me get all the other teachers and then move their bodies. So punch you guys! Thank you very much. Pick you up. And hello, chair. How you doing today? You been sit on today? Yeah? You getting a whole lot of ass today? I bet. Uh, where are we gonna put you? Oh, shit! What's up with her? Fuck me, man. Okay, you can stare at the teacher and the chair. And this does work, guys. If you max out your physical education and you YONDERY punch all these teachers or any other Easter egg, you can pick them up like so. Okay, let me pick you up, Sensei. There you go. And the paper and the chairs, they'll all be right there. And what the hell is this guy doing? Why the fuck is this teacher's pet in here? There are no alive teachers in here. Let me try stealing the answer sheets with her in my hands. <laughs> Look at this, guys. That is freaking cool. <laughs> oh, my God. Some of the things that are in this game. This is freaking amazing. Okay. So, the last one is the teachers don't react to you while in an Easter egg. They basically just ignore you while you're stealing the answer sheets. So, let's do that one and move on to the next myth. So, let's steal this. There you go. And yeah, teacher floating in the air like she just don't care. I'm stealing the answer sheets like a motherfucking boss. And the other teachers don't notice me. So those are four glitches that are also true. If you guys want to try them, they might not work in future builds, but at least they work in the June 29th build. Thank you for showing me all of those. On to the next one. Question. Can you make the gym teacher get out of the faculty room if you giggle instead of using the radio? Okay, right now we are fast forwarding time. The teacher is going over to the faculty room. We are gonna follow her. I think we have to time this one just right to where she's in the middle of the room. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Not by the door, to where we placed the radio last time. This area right here. Once she's passing this area across the other side of the room, then I'll giggle and see if it works. So I am going to wait. Let's see. Let's wait for her to go inside. Hurry the fuck up, teacher. You're a gym teacher. Shouldn't you be faster? Let's laugh. There you go. Okay. She's going to go out there. Come on, come on. Go. Go out there. And then we still answer sheets. Put what? Down. No way. Get away. She can't even see us. <laughs> Okay, let's try this one again and let's have her patrol around so we can see if we can do this if we weren't to use any cheats and we're just trying to use our own skills to pay the bills. So I'm gonna wait for her to stop stretching and then walk along this hallway over here from the other side, of course. So she's walking there and then giggle. There, she noticed it. She has her hands on her hips. She's like, what the fuck is that? I must investigate that. What, what the fuck are you doing? What the hell? Okay, laugh. There you go. 
and then she's gonna go on this side. So I guess once she notices me, she'll stop investigating the sounds. There you go. All right, let's get to it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, we can do this. We can do this. Nope, she notices the sounds, but we can steal it. We got it, we got yeah. it, we did it. Okay, so that is true, ladies and gentlemen. If you giggle, instead of using the radio, you can get the gym teacher to leave the room and you steal the answer sheets. Let's fucking go, that is true. On to the next one. Don't know if this will work. One, kill the loan shark's daughter. Two, change so you're not bloody. Three, wait till the gym teacher is in the faculty room. Four, when the gym teacher is stretching at the window, drop the girl's body in the room. Five, when the gym teacher is calling the police, run into the room and steal the answer sheet. Will she catch you or keep talking on the phone? First order of business, we gotta get Ron Shaco Tofaro Aspires. She can't talk right now because she's changing into her lovely boots or whatever the fuck those are with those weird ass socks. Can I talk to you? I want you to follow me, please, your sexy mamacita. I'm gonna lead you to this discreet location over here. I wanna show you something behind the school. My motherfucking knife! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so before we drag her body, we need to change our clothes, dispose of the weapon, yada yada yada. You guys know the deal. And then we're gonna drop the body in the faculty room and see if this thing is true. Okay, all the teachers are out of here. The gym teacher is stretching. I'm gonna wait for all the teachers to go into their classrooms and close this so nobody notices any bodies. Can you please hurry up, lady? Thank you. Power walk. Power walk. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, we gotta get the run, Shaka. She's right over here. I honestly think that this is gonna work, guys. I have a good feeling about this, because once they start making that phone call, they're gonna get so distracted that they won't notice me stealing the answer sheets. But the tricky part is getting this body to where I need it to be. Okay, she's right over there. So when she's stretching, I will dump the body right over here. There you go. Okay, let's hide right here. No, it can't be. No, it can't be. This Got it. is a tragedy. Why Let's steal this shit. This? What the, the fuck is she me. doing? What the fuck is that? There's what is that a breakdancing move? High school. Fuck is wrong we with you? Right okay, away. let's steal this shit. <laughs> While she's horizontal, what the fuck is that? Looks like some 90s breakdancing move. <laughs> this is a tragedy. Why would anyone do this? I'll call the police immediately. There's what been the a death fuck at is this high school. Shit? We need help right away. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> She keeps doing the little lunge thing. What the fuck? Stop it. Stop that right now. <laughs> oh, man. This is hilarious. Uh, can she do it again? Please, do it again. Stop it. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward time. She's still doing the lunge thing and looking back and forth. Okay, but that is true and also fucking hilarious. You can steal the answer sheet by dropping a body inside the room while the gym teacher is patrolling. That is awesome as hell. On to the next one. Jay, check this out. Kill and dismember gym teacher. Take her head. Enjoy. All right, I don't know if I will enjoy having a teacher's head in my hands, but whatever. We are going to talk to her. Oh, we can't talk to her anymore? All right, fine. You're just gonna get sliced, motherfucker. Instant dismemberment, bitch! Okay, so we need to grab her head, like so. And yeah, that's her head. She has her whistle, not around her neck. I mean, if it's there, oh yeah, it's in the air like you just don't care, okay? So this is, this is what it is? All right, <laughs> let me do it in cinematic. I got the head right here. Whistle floating in the air. She should have used this whistle to let everyone know I was about to kill that ass. But yes, this is it. I checked it out. It is pretty cool. It's not the best thing I've ever seen, but it is cool. I'll give it a six out of 10. On to the next one. Hey Jay, I thought of another way to possibly steal the answer sheets. One, take a picture of any student's face. Two. Turn into cyborg mode and wait in the teacher's lounge. Three, wait for the other teachers to leave and the gym teacher to arrive. Four, ask her to go distract someone. Five, when she goes to distract them, steal the answer sheets. 
Okay, the previous myth I just did where I dismembered the teacher in cyborg mode, it didn't allow me to talk to her for some reason, but you know what, maybe it'll work once she's in the faculty room or something. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna take a picture of our favorite Kakoni, smile girl! There you go, pretty as always, so let's send that. And now we have Kakoni's information. All we need to do now is fast forward to when the teachers leave, which is 8.15 a.m., and let's get this shit started. As you guys can see, the teachers all left. The gym teacher is on our way here, so we are going to go into cyborg mode. And can we talk to her? No, we can't talk to the gym teacher. You used to be able to talk to teachers like normal students, but now it is not there anymore, so yeah. All right guys, there is no more option to talk to teachers. There isn't an official statement that that is officially out of the game, but I can no longer talk to a teacher. I can slice her up though. I can slice everybody up though. And Senpai noticed me, but it doesn't matter because you can no longer talk to teachers in cyborg mode. So there is no way of distracting the teacher with Kakona or any other student by sending her out of the room and distracting them. So that is officially debunked. On to the next one. I got one. Time this perfectly. One, join any club. Two, kill a student then show a teacher or a delinquent. Three, try to outrun the teacher slash delinquent. Four, Go to your club and participate in a club activity. Will you be able to join the activity and finish it, or will the teacher delinquent get you first? Okay guys, I already got a head start on this myth. I joined the Light Music Club, I will tell you why in a second. Let's get our guinea pig Midori. We are gonna pick her up, and we really do have to time this perfectly. So I'm gonna show the delinquents Midori's body, and how I'm gonna do it. I am gonna wait for them to spawn. Oh my god, Oka, fuck my life. I hate you! I hate you, Oka! Uh, I swear I won't tell anyone what I just saw. Please don't hurt me. Okay, she is not gonna tell anybody. This is what we're gonna do. We are gonna fast forward time. Right before the delinquent spawn, I am going to open the debug menu like so, and then teleport once I hear the sound of them coming here. So what? there you go. Oh I'm crap! Going down Damn! Fight. The debug menu disappeared yeah, as soon as the delinquents came. Fuck! <gasps> Okay, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? Okay, wait, maybe I have another idea. Plan B, I'm actually gonna join Greetings. this club right join. here, and then I am going to get the gym teacher to notice the body, then I'm gonna run as fast as I can over here, and in order to do that, we are gonna have to max out our physical education. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this shit. Get her to notice us. There you what go. Have you done? Run! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop right we can now. make it. Shit, shit. Fuck, come on. Go, go, go. Join the club activity. Greetings. Activity. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes, we did it. Okay, we joined. The gardening club plants flowers and creates hedge art. And we are holding Midori in our hand. Okay. We completed the club activity. That's what the question was asking us. So we were able to join the activity and finish it. And the teacher or delinquent didn't get me first. So we did it, guys. Fuck yeah. I might try it with a delinquent. Obviously, we got arrested because we killed Midori. But let's try it with a delinquent and move on to the last myth of today's episode. I'm going to try to get as close to the gardening club as possible. So let's get them to see me. Huh? There you go. I'm got not it. going down go, 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 Ah, damn I it! Thought. They are way too fast. Fuck. But anyway, to answer your question, yes, it is possible, at least with a teacher. I don't know if you can outrun a delinquent. If you guys want to try, be my guest. But that is true. Thank you for asking that question. On to the last myth of today's episode. While the teachers are working, bring at least six corpses inside the faculty room. Let all the teachers guard them, then try to steal the answer sheet. What happens? Okay, I was actually trying to bring one of the corpses inside of the faculty room, and then I was going to get five more. But then I noticed that all the teachers started going towards Oka's body, and then some of them started disappearing into the floor. So I started stealing the answer sheet, and none of the teachers apprehended me. Three of them actually went on top of Oka's body, and then they were like laying horizontally, trying to call the police. That shit looked funny as fuck. I didn't have live commentary for it, but I was trying to get all the bodies there. 
as fast as I can, and then that ended up happening. So that is actually true. You don't have to put six bodies. You can put one body in there, and then all the teachers will like run to that body, or they'll disappear into the floor, and then you can steal the answer sheet no problem, and nobody's going to apprehend you. But with that said, that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, or challenges you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!